A few months back I put out a video featuring the lowest rated players in FIFA 19 and one of the players in the starting 11 actually spotted himself in the video and left a comment. So last month I put him into another video and this time I gave him the captain's armband hoping that he might be watching once again and this time get to see himself captain his team to glory. He was indeed watching but this time he got taken off at half time so it wasn't exactly the perfect return for him. Today though it could be third time lucky for Lewis Collins as he features on the channel for a third time now. Captain and his team once again as the lowest rated players in FIFA go head to head with a full team of icons computer versus computer in the Champions League final. Last time I gave the low rated players extreme speed, this time though they all get to become absolute giants of world football. Literally, they're 8 foot 5, whilst the icons are a little bit shorter. The last video picked up over 5,000 likes, which was absolutely insane, and if this one can get anywhere near that once again, then that would honestly be absolutely amazing. Also, keep leaving your video suggestions for me in the comments section down below. As I've said before, I do read absolutely every single comment that's left for me, so if you do leave me a comment, then it will be seen. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you do go on to enjoy this video today, then please do stick around and subscribe. Now though, before I go any further, I just want to say a huge thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. OneFootball is a football news app available for both iOS and Android, covering over a hundred different international football leagues and competitions all around the world. You can set up notifications for all of your favourite clubs, competitions and players, and it's a great app for keeping up with things like the latest news, scores, transfers and rumours. Whether you want to check in on the latest news about Lewis Collins, or stay up to date with all of the action in the Champions League. You can do it with OneFootball, receiving the latest updates as and when they happen. Last night, for instance, I didn't get to watch the Spurs game, but I did follow the match on OneFootball as Ajax continued their incredible journey in Europe this season. I've been using OneFootball for a while now and I personally find it to be incredibly useful. And the great news is that it's completely free to download, so if you haven't already got it installed on your phone then definitely check out the link in the description down below and give the app a go. Huge thanks to OneFootball once again for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the action though and let's see which team comes out on top. Will the giant worst team use their height advantage to full effect? Or will the icons show that although they might be short in size, they're definitely not short of quality? Let's hop into the match and let's find out. Things are off to a pretty interesting start. These guys are so massive that their heads are bursting through the ceiling. And the icons are so short that they're barely caught on camera. Brilliant. Pele smashes that one out wide for Maradona to run onto. He's going to cross that one over and they've got that covered. Corner kick to come now then Maradona whips that to the edge of the box to Roberto Carlos and that's a big block from Roberts. It drops here for R9 Ronaldo. In fact he's R45 Ronaldo today and Wright kicks it out of play. Carlos throws that into Ronaldo and it looked like that guy landed on his head. That looked painful. Collins moves that across to his teammate who whips it forward. Interesting header there from Kautner. Collins loses the ball. Veresti's on it, moves that forward to Cruyff, he's taking it down the wing, are they going to score here? Can we see the first goal of the game? No he can't, Millie's got that covered. Werman moves that out wide, nice little dummy there from Roberts, working his way down the left wing very slowly, whips it across, not the best ball in the world, he's going to win the header though. And he goes absolutely flying in the process. Maradona moves that through to Hullet, working his way into the box, turns it back and he gets absolutely teabagged and drops down in the box. You're not going to get a penalty for that, mate. Pele's got hold of it on the edge of the box, plays that to Cruyff, gets it back to Pele, lovely ball through there to Hullet, and that's a brilliant save by Milly. Norville clears it to Roberts and he's looking for support here. He's going to play that forward to Werman. What can he do with this one? He's looking a bit like Bambi on ice at the moment. Very awkward on his feet. He does work his way forward though. Plays that to Kautner and this is a good opportunity for the massive worst team. And they found the back of the net. It's 1-0. I'm not going to lie. It didn't exactly look like the best of headers but it still found the back of the net. They've got a slight height advantage and they definitely made the most of it there. Number 44 heads it past Yashin. And they've taken the lead. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Here come the icons on the attack once again. Hullet moves that forward to Mateus. Working it down the right wing. Whips it across. He's not dealt with that great. And that is nearly an incredible goal from Maradona. What a save from Millie to deny him. We're going to have to take another look at that one on the replay. That was absolutely exceptional. I'm pretty sure that was the goal scorer with a terrible bit of control. But 
Look at that from a keeper. What a guy. Hullet hooks it forward to Pele. He moves it to Maradona. And I thought he'd found the corner for a second. Maradona's going to whip this one over into the box. But Roberts has got it covered. He's chasing after it. Moves it on to Werman. He plays it across to his teammate in Majunliang. I've probably just butchered that name. But let's just run with it. He's working it down the left wing. Plays it on to Roberts. He moves it back to Majunliang. Werman's got hold of it now. On the edge of the box. Moves it on to Kautner. Majunliang is back on the ball. And Majun Liang has just taken a terrible effort at goal. Not entirely sure why they're showing a replay of that, but there you go. Pele with the ball out wide, whips that into the box. Elix got it covered though. Majun Liang plays that across to Norville. And what's happened there? Is it a penalty? Is it a free kick? I'm pretty sure it's a free kick, but I'm not entirely sure what it's for. That's what it's for apparently. Majun Liang nearly took Ronaldo's head off and he got a free kick out of it. Okay. Cruyff with the ball out wide and what a slide tackle from Norville Williams. The ball's back with Zanetti now, toying with his man. Moves that across to Pele. What can he do here? Plays that to Cruyff, gets it back to Pele. And that is such an overdramatic dive from Milly. Here come the icons. Ronaldo plays that through to Pele. And Milly can't stop that one. It's the equaliser just before half time. And it's now level. It's 1 1. It was fun whilst it lasted, but the icons are probably going to go on to absolutely smash them now. Good team play there. They work it to Pele. And he finds the back of the net. Milly stood no chance whatsoever. And tiny Pele has bagged himself a goal. So it's level at the break and the giant worst team are going to be pretty pleased with themselves at the moment. They nearly took a lead into the break, not quite though. Pele broke their hearts just before half time, but it's still level so yeah, probably more than they would have been expecting. Level at the break, everything still to play for in the second half so let's get into it and let's see if anything changes. Here comes Majun Liang working his way down the wing very slowly, whips that across, and that technique was absolutely insane. Slightly less impressive from the replay though, when you spot that the ball goes straight through his leg, and then Yashin just kind of stands there, he's not even looking at the ball, he's looking completely the other way, and it just goes straight over his head, so... Yeah, Mateus moves it through to Pele and Squire went absolutely flying there. Didn't get anywhere near the ball, but it looked impressive. Squire loses it again. Omri flicks it up to himself. Good technique, but not a great shot. Kaltner plays the ball through to Roberts. This is a very promising opportunity for the giant worst team. Roberts whips that over and they scored again. It's now 3-1. <laughs> He's gone absolutely flying. That has to be one of the best celebrations I've ever seen. It was impressive enough when they scored the first goal, but now they bagged themselves a third, and look at that technique from Kautner. Brilliant finish there to knock it past Yashin. He dives to his near post. Kautner takes it the other side of him, and look at that. What a goal. The icons are looking to get a goal back here. Hullet moves that forward to Zanetti. He's got the ball out wide, whips that one across. Elliot's going to deal with it. And I thought he was going to kick Maradona's head off for a second there. Baggio's away from his man down the right wing. Norville goes in for a slide. Bit dangerous and he didn't quite get to the ball. And now Hullet's found the back of the net. It's 3-2. And now they seem to be stuck together. I'm not entirely sure if this is ever going to end. Are they just going to be stuck together forever more? Let's forget about that for now though and take a look at the replay. Norville went in for a slide tackle. Someone else went flying in the background and Hullet finds the top corner. Smashes it past Milly. He stood no chance whatsoever. He had a guy in front of him anyway and look at that. Flailing arms, can't quite get to it, and it's now 3-2. And now Lewis Collins is getting substituted again. I'm sorry, Lewis, if it was me that was in charge, I'd keep you on the field, mate. Norva with the fake throw, goes for another one, and another one. He's taking the mick now, and <laughs> he's finally thrown it in. And they give away possession. Brilliant. Millie's going to kick this one out to Norville. He chests that across to Sharon. Dangerous bit of play there, but he does just about get away with it. Squire moves it forward to Christofferson. Counter's made a good run there, but the pass is just a bit heavy. Hullet with the ball out wide. Moves that inside to Baggio. He plays that to Mateus. This is a very promising looking attack for the icons. Hullet's back on the ball once again now. Moves that to Baggio, who plays it to Zanetti. Whips it in. And Omri's taken out the keeper. Desperate times for the icons. And they're resorting to fouling. That's probably not going to work, lads. So there's not much time left for the icons at this point. Millie launches it long. He flicks that on. They're back in control of it. They might be able to get one last shot away. Ronaldinho's on the attack. 
And that is the final whistle, it's not going to happen for them, they're going to lose the game 3-2 and the giant worst team have won the Champions League final. Majun Liang, Werman and Kountner the goal scorers for them, Pele and Hullet the goal scorers for the Icons, it's not enough though, they've lost the game 3-2 and it's the giant worst team that gets to lift that Champions League trophy. Massive players, massive victory and somehow the giant worst team have defeated the tiny Icons, I definitely wasn't expecting that but there you go. They only had three shots on target throughout the entire match and they scored every single one of them. Clinical. The Icons meanwhile had 11 shots, six of which were on target. They also had 62% possession, weren't able to make that pay though and ultimately they've lost the Champions League final with the main man Majun Liang picking up the man of the match award. Anyway though, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave it a like if you have done. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you again next time.